Hi, I'm Mike Matre, your host of Healthcare Matters, where the medical and legal communities come together to discuss healthcare matters. Today's guest is Whit Johnson. Whit is a shareholder with Curry, Johnson, Griffin, and Myers in Jackson, Mississippi. Welcome to the program, Whit. Thanks. Uh, glad to be here. How has the move from paper medical records to electronic medical records affected best practices for entering data into a patient's chart? And what guidance would you give physicians so that they are using best practices when entering data into the patient's medical records? You know, I'm not sure that the best practices themselves have actually changed. You know, the best practice is simply to, to pay attention and be focused on documenting in a timely and accurate, uh, in an accurate fashion. Um, but having said that, I think the guidance that I'd give to my clients is that you need to be focused and pay attention. There are a couple of things that you can do. You can, you can uh, uh, be sure that you are the only one entering, in, entering information into the chart. You can be sure that other people who may have, have access to the chart, that you take the opportunity to review what they have done to be sure that, that y'all are consistent. Um, you know, you don't want to get, I guess what's best called is clickitis, which is where you literally are just clicking down through various boxes, showing them all as normal because you have to get, you know, have to click on one box to get to the next box. So, but having said all that, it still is, it's no different than before. Pay attention to what you're doing and put it in right and put it in on time. Excellent. Well, Whit, thank you for joining us today on Healthcare Matters, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Sounds good. I hope this helped. Thank you. A recent Rand Corp American Medical Society study called for a complete redesign of electronic medical records to improve their usability. If you had the opportunity to advise an EMR uh, company on a redesign of its product, what changes would most benefit the defensibility of a malpractice claim?